Hello everybody and welcome to my second round World Cup predictions. I'll be making four of these, one for each quarter of the draw. And here is the third quarter of the draw. Uh, yellow stars for the predictions, so I got four out of eight right. Spartaco losing was, was unbelievable really. Um, you know, no disrespect to Al Bundy whatsoever, but uh, Spartaco was absolutely one of the favourites to win, I think. Just, you know, coaching and Woodell's great combination. A, gr a great coach with Woodell's is a great combination, but, you know, Human's very strong in this format, and yeah, fair play to Al Bundy winning that one. I actually predicted Chelsea's all by mistake, but, you know, I didn't, I didn't change it, and uh, it, he ended up, it was just dice that cost him it, really. He, he could well have won. He played well enough to win, I think. Just uh, the dice pretty much decided it, that one. Um, so yeah, let's let's look and see which double skills they've all picked and do the picks. So first up is Sprinter versus Wolf Bainsons. And I really don't like taking guard on one of the guys who isn't Blodge. I mean, he's only got one Blodge, Blitzer, which I don't like anyway. But, um, you know, I would have liked two Blodge or three Blodge in a nothing on the witch elf but yeah I mean this whole thing you can stack right so st so stack it on the guy who's got dodge um, I really don't like it it's not stacked I think guard is a great choice if you double but I think it should absolutely have been on a, on a dodge on the dodge blitzer there um, yeah so Wolf Bainsons has a stacked mighty blow on the tackle dancer obviously crucial he's gonna hunt the uh, witch elves there and, uh, and uh, you know, just generally 16 blockers, Mighty Blow is good. I like that. I think Wolf Bainsons has maybe my favourite Wood Elf team, as he has as he has the Wrestle Lineman that I wish I had got. So, yeah, I think I'm going to back him back him to win this one. So next up is Darun versus Torre 3005. Uh, Battle of the Consoles. Um, yeah, Darun's got Orcs, you know, they're, they're a bit... Not so good, I think, in the early rounds, but if he gets out of it and he gets a bunch of guard, he should be looking pretty strong. Not not using the double, because why would you really with Orcs? Get more strength skills, more guard, that's good. Guard is good, so yeah, I like that choice. Now, it looks like there's been a bit of an error here made by the admins who added the skill, Satori 3005. He's got two claws on his Minotaur. Now, <laughs> I don't think it's going to make any difference in the game. Um, it might crash the game, though, so maybe he should get it changed. But he's gone for claw on his Mino. And, you know, that's absolutely, you know, absolutely as he should. He's playing Orcs. That, that, that's perfect, isn't it? He needs a double. It's not a Chaos Minotaur. It's a Chaos Dwarf Minotaur. So he needs the double for claw. I think that's a really good shout. Um, there's no point planning for the later rounds, you know, if you're up against a really tough match this time. Just take, take the claw and give him the best chance he can have. I still think, though, with uh, Darun having the guard and the mighty blow and only 11 players for Tori 3005, I'm going to back Darun to win this one. Next up, we have Al Bundy versus Wenteros. Al Bundy's already beaten probably the best Wood Elf coach in the first round, and he's facing more Wood Elves. I mean, the block sure hands really helped him on the thrower. And now he's gone mighty blow for his blitzer. So he skipped the double. He could have had a guard catcher, but he's he skipped the double to to you know hurt the elves and particularly the war dancers if he can get hold of them. Good shout. Can't argue with that. Um, he sh it should he should be a dangerous opponent for sure. Winteros has used his double, a guard catcher. Um, I don't. I'm not really that much of a fan of his of his frenzy dancer. And the guard catcher. Um, I mean, I, I I like the guard catcher, but with him not having block, it's a little bit risky. Um, do you know what? I'm going to back Al Bundy here. He's, he's already beaten Spartaco. Why shouldn't he be able to beat Wenteros? Let's go Al Bundy for this one. So now the last match of this quarter is Crystal Hunter versus Ever. Crystal Hunter has used his double to get guard on his catcher, which I, I very much like. Um, so yeah... He's still got his options open with the uh, blitzers, whether he wants to stack Mighty Blow panning on or go guard at any point. So yeah, good choice, good team, good coach. And Ever has gone for something I didn't even consider for humans. He's gone dodge. Um, I think if you want to go dodge here, maybe you should have gone Dark Elves, is, is, is why I wouldn't have even considered. I would have just maxed out guard 
and made like a mobile bashy team for humans. But he's gone dodge, you know, maybe it'll work out for him. But uh, I do like the guard for Grizzle Hunter more, so I'm going to go Grizzle Hunter to win this one. So there's all my picks for the third quarter. Um, again, just a bit of fun. Uh, I will be casting all of the games on Twitch, uploading all the replays to YouTube. Don't forget to check them out. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.